I charge you from the holy word of God to know that marriage is founded and based and sustained upon love. We call 1 Corinthians 13 the love chapter. And it says if we could do remarkable things by faith, move mountains, even be martyred, we don't have true charity. That's the compassion of Christ active in our lives. Then we're nothing. And love is long-suffering. It's kind, it's self-sacrificing, and it never fails. Now abides faith, hope, love, these three, and the greatest of these is love. Caleb, our wedding day is finally here, and I couldn't be more excited to walk down the aisle and promise to love you every single day for the rest of our lives. As I look back over the last four and a half years, I recognize that the Lord has carefully orchestrated everything leading up to this day. Oh gosh. <laughs> my beautiful bride, you took my breath away the first time I saw you. For the last four and a half years, consistently made me ask myself how I could possibly deserve even a moment of your time. gratitude that he's called us to be together forever. You've made me smile more than I thought possible, laugh harder than I ever knew I could, and love someone so deeply that I have never, even for a moment, questioned whether or not you were the perfect one for me. Your calming presence makes me feel safe, protected, and at home. You're always patient with me especially when I'm a little angry. You look at me as if I'm the only woman in the world, and the smile you have when you see me melts my heart every time. Yes, the very first thing that you gave me was that promposal guitar pick. I only saw it to be fitting that the last thing I'd get before our married life begins would be this. So, I will end my letter to my wife on our wedding day this way. You took my breath away the first time I saw you and every time since. I love you, Caleb. Jordan, may I honor you by asking you first. Then I assume I know the answer to this before <laughs> I ask it, but do you receive and take him now as your wedded husband? I do. Caleb. You do take her to be your wife, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> Jordan. Caleb. I promise to pursue God with you and to be an example of Christ's love to the best of my ability. As we lay the foundation for the life we will build together today as husband and wife, I promise to give my whole heart to you. Jordan, I promise to love you with a greater intensity as each day passes and through any hardships that will ever come our way. I promise to trust you and to be faithful to you from this day forward. I promise to love you unconditionally and sacrificially through the love that Christ has displayed for us. I'm overjoyed and honored to spend the rest of my life with you as my husband. Thank you. In 
the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and by the authority entrusted me by our Commonwealth of Virginia, you are husband and wife.